but I've never been to areas like this. This is like home for me. I love it. What's them big fans? Windmill. They've used a series of associates to transport them to the Peak District. Ah, your feet. I <laughs> bet they stink. Oh my god. This is this is not us, and we can't stand in town. We've got to go B and B's minimum. Mate, honestly, this is. We so need good. showers nightly. We need to bed with aircon. There are so many little midgets on top of this fucking tent. Chris, can I just ask, would you rather get caught sooner? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is fucking brutal. Jumping, isn't it? Oh, mate. Oh, mate. It's alive, this is. Chris and Kem have hitchhiked to Wales. They're hiding out at the home of new associate Gemma and her family. They come here and they say, where's Chris and Kem? Say, they're not here. I don't know who Chris and Kem is. They're trying to find us. Who's Chris and Kem? Exactly. Yeah, Good answer. Great answer. <laughs> Good answer. What a life, eh? Life, life is a refugee. It's not a refugee, is it? What are we called? I forgot what they call us. What do they call us when we're on the run? They're the hunters and we're the... We're the roo... 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 Fugitives. We're the fugitives. It doesn't even begin with R, it begins with F. We're the fugitives. Oh, we had a TV show on Ed last night. I really want to find out what viewing figures we got. If Jim knew, P would call us anyway, innit? We've got a burner, but we ain't used it. Have a look. Yeah. We've got a text which has just come through from Jim Irwood, the agent of Chris, right. to a number we don't currently know. I've got okay. another message. Boys, dump the burner phone as soon as you can. It's the first time we turned it on once. <laughs> Get rid. He said, Get rid. Mate. He, said, he said, dump the burner Boy, phone. Shall I just dash this? Mate, Shall I just let's, let's let's break, break it here. Let me, let me break it. Go on. Yeah, let's have a go. Let's have a go, let's have a go, let's have a go. No, 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 steady, don't break yourself. Fuck. Oh, my God, it is a burner phone for a reason. We've got to burn it. The location of the burner phone is pretty much where you are currently. Right, see if there's anywhere we can get out on foot. I knew they'd be onto Jim's burner. What believe. an idiot, why, why did he text us? Phone? Cell site triangulation gives the hunters a general area where the phone was used, but not an exact address. We need a phone after we're fucked. I oh, know. Kem, it's quiet. This is so risky going into a Tesco superstore. But sometimes you've literally got to do what you've got to do. I'm actually, I feel like I'm starting to grow up a little bit. I'm a bit more wiser, I think, before I do things. Should we go look at some lingerie? See, I like that. That's a, great, that's a great size as well. I like the old multi-way bra. See in that, you wear two at the same time. Get one of these and ten pound credit, please, mate. Yeah, sorry. Cheers. And no photos, no photos. We're sorry, we're not allowed. We're on the run, but, um, well, we can't just give away our identity. Sorry, thank you. If they come, where do we go? We ain't got a way out, Ken. We're actually in a corner right now. If they come in here, we've got, got to use legs. Oh, fucking burn them. We ain't had a chance to run yet. Do you we should just warm up just in case? You don't want to see us open that by the. Total fitness. Oh, mate, I needed that so bad. I need to wee as well now. Imagine if I just turn up now. Okay, what is that? Master Hunters. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Shit. Guys, guys! This is how good my fucking memory is. No, keep going up here. What the fuck are you talking about, Chris? I actually think you've got to go down here. I think it's over there. Oh, right, we're going to a different area, boys. I think we should turn around and get into Tring. <laughs> right, we've just entered the village of Tring. The vehicle is still on the move. Uh, this is Charlie Garrett's vehicle. We know he's picked up Chris and Kem in the car park at the gym. He's got telematics on his vehicle, so we're following that. Now we're in a spa, luxury, two beds. We first started off in a tent. If this ain't started from the bottom, now we're here, then I don't know what is. It is. Tent to spa. What a life. So what number do you want? I oh, know, like this, like this. Reception. Shut Chris, stop Chris, come on. 
You put your fingers in it, I think. Yeah, now again. That's it. I've seen these in Heartbeat. I used to watch Heartbeat when I was younger. How does a love kiss stay in my memory? And um, I've never ever used one in my life. You got it, ain't you? No, it didn't work. I don't think that's how you set it up. It looks a bit like a tent now. How the fuck are we? Where are you? These. These are fucking key. I guess what these are for now. I thought they were for decorations, they're actually for the pegs, which is pretty, pretty mind blowing. Mate, we've actually done it. That is huge. So, today was, um, was probably one of the riskiest days we've had. We left Shagney's and they raided Shagney. I can't believe cameras we in. got through another day, because say if one of us needed to go to the toilet or... They would have caught us and we just slipped out. So it just shows how close they're getting. But we're doing well. You know what, though, Hunters? Good you might not think we might not have the ability to yeah. camp, but we really can. Yeah. Come and find us. We're in the woods, baby. Bye. 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 This is what it's about. There's a gym in there as well. <laughs> oh, my God, they've got rubber rings. They've got rubber rings to get in the pool. Wait. Ah, uh, fucking unreal is this. Yeah, mate, we've got tennis, we've got bars. Mate, we're basically, got we're basically at Centre Park. Let's go, baby. Out. Come on. So mining Kem's lives over the last year have been completely crazy. We walked out the villa not really knowing how popular the show was and being on the run, you meet people who are willing to help yeah. you and not dump you in. And we've installed all our trust in these people and they're repaying it and yeah. I could be up here right now. I look like a, a forehand the down. What we're trying to say here is we're on the run. We're two best show. mates and we come as one. Got long hair but he never wears a bun. 25, 22, that's a three year gap. We ain't got a bird but we're on the right track. Jeez. Unfortunately, you lost the game. So it's time for forfeit. Are you ready? Ah! I don't want to do this, Mark. I'm scared of shit like this. Oh, your mark. I don't like getting hurt. Get to it. Go! Go on, mate. Oh, you Ah, oh, you Kev Duck. Oh, my God. Out of way. Ah! It does look quick. Oh my god, he's a fucking big geezer as well. He can run. What are we gonna do? This is it. I can't do this, Ken. We just gotta do it, mate. Are we going arm in arm? Fucking hell, man. It's over, Chris. It's over, buddy. Got them, guys. We have two in custody. Chris and Kev. Chris and Kev show is over. What we're also gonna do is take Alex into the room where Chris and Kem are already waiting. Alex is going to purport to be one of Johnny Mercer's associates. All the while this is going on, there is a extremely efficient listening device in that room, which is now rigged into headquarters, so we are listening in to see what's going on. Hi. Sorry, Alex. Chris. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Uh, what, what happened with you guys then? What? We got caught this morning. What happened? Oh, no, that's in a half. Oh, fuck. Well, who's your friend? Uh, Johnny Mercer. He's, a, he's an MP. He's, he's still on the run. He's ex-army. Yeah. yeah. What's the whole gig here then? What's the point? They'll try and get out of us where they are. We do the same with you. They'll question the shit out of you. Well, stay strong in there. Mm. Don't mention Southampton, but that's the, uh, that's the experience. Mm. Is it? Keep that one quiet. So, when did you find out the extraction point? What time yesterday was it? Someone was in the car with Jamie, actually. Chris just jumped out, got the piece of paper. Who did you get that from? I don't know. He knows more. Right. Ken was dealing with the extraction boy, and I wasn't dealing with it. Oh. Well, Ken was saying you got that yesterday. You were going to get from Ken's auntie's house to the extraction on the south coast. I, did, I didn't think it was the south coast. Oh. Well, Ken said it was. It's Southampton. Uh... So, extraction day, did it, had you pictured it in your head? I don't know. I just thought it'd be the last day, end of the two weeks, maybe. And uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a boat? Maybe a helicopter? The first thing you said was boat. Yeah. And then about three seconds after, I think you realised you said boat, and then you said helicopter. 
Do you think? Was it that? Yeah, that so I noticed a few micro, <laughs> micro expressions on your face. No. There. He was a bit uncomfortable saying boat, and I, I could almost but hear if I was the uncomfortable, clogs why in your would I brain say it first? ticking back to go. Oh <laughs> fuck! I've just said boat. And who's there on the boat? Who's there? On the boat? Who said we're on a boat? <laughs> oh, I said we're on a boat. What a fabulous day, everybody.